Recent developments in the One Piece community. Hey! Riot! Have revealed to me that it's 2021 and people still don't get what Naruto was going for with reincarnation. Which makes sense, let's be honest. Most people read manga on a weekly basis and it's been like 8 years since the chapter dropped. It's not the best method for reading a story to understand everything that happened. And don't get me started on anime only and the haze of filler they must gaze through. With that in mind, I've decided to make this video to clear up some misconceptions. And not the simple ones that are basically memes like the fact that Indra and Ashura weren't even gods and Naruto and Sasuke never actually died when they met the sage, they were brought back by the people in the world of the living. I mean the huge narrative spanning ones. First, let's dismiss the idea that being reincarnated made Naruto some sort of super gifted prodigy who was superior to everyone. No, it didn't. Before this moment, Naruto didn't get any power from his lineage. Simply compare the reincarnates we're actually familiar with. They don't share any abilities beyond what they naturally share from being in the same clan. Naruto and Hashirama don't share wood style abilities and they learnt entirely different versions of Sage Mode, Naruto with the added disadvantage of Kurama. Madara doesn't display any of Sasuke's MS abilities or his lightning style. Reincarnates have clearly different skill sets, skill levels and lives. We don't even know how the lives of the other reincarnates went except the Indra ones weren't as successful as, Ma as Madara in getting the Renegan. Even their six past powers went a result of them inheriting their predecessor's abilities. Hagoromo gave them his own powers because at the moment an emergency situation was pushing the world closer and closer to its end. You know, Madara absorbing the tentacles. Naruto and the Sage even talk about how Naruto's supposed lineage hasn't granted him any power. And look at Sasuke. He is the reincarnate of the Sage's gifted firstborn, yet ostensibly normal people have still always been able to challenge him. Haku, Lee, Daedra, shouldn't someone who inherited the power of Indra, who inherited the godlike power of his father, easily wipe the floor with these mere human geniuses? It's not like Sasuke is lazy, he's always tried to get stronger, whether to impress or defeat his even more gifted older brother. Hmm, that doesn't sound like Indra, does it? So how is Naruto, who reincarnated from the untalented son, only successful because of that predecessor? Reincarnation in Naruto isn't as simple as a soul inhabiting a body. If it was, Sasuke and Madara would not have been able to live at the same time. It's, ba it's based largely on their accumulated chakra, something which we're getting more and more information from Boruto of all places, as we finally get to see how the Otsutsuki in reincarnation actually works. Uh, which, of course, it would be very different from how it works for Indra and Ashura, being as they are like 75% human. Now that that's out of the way, let's talk about the other thing everyone is wrong about, and it goes all the way back to Neji. People believe that because Naruto is the reborn Ashura, it means Neji was right and that Naruto was always destined to become great no matter what. An interpretation born from hearing that Naruto is the reincarnation of the Siege of Six Path Son and not paying attention to why the reincarnation is even happening. And that's because, as Obito alludes to when he brings up Naruto and Sasuke's connection to Indra and Ashura during the Five Kage Summit, it's not a legacy of power, it's a legacy of failure. Despite being tasked with uniting the world in peace, Ashura couldn't succeed in that. He couldn't even make peace with his brother. Ashura failed and the world evolved into an era of warring clans. Hashirama did create the hidden village system, but that just increased the scale of war. Being a reincarnate of Ashura isn't meant to be a positive thing, especially for Naruto, who needed to be able to save Sasuke from his darkness before he could even start to save the whole world. It's a destiny of failure, but like Naruto tells the sage, he is not Ashura, and Sasuke is not Indra. People here reincarnated from a demigod son and they reflexively assume that means great power and a great destiny was bestowed upon him, so they retroactively go back and rewrite Naruto's past. They attribute his skill, his determination, clever strategies, and perseverance that has defined him to Ashura when it's still Naruto's own victories and would have gone to waste if he didn't persevere despite his obstacles. The Indra Ashura reincarnation isn't a betrayal of what Naruto said while fighting Neji, it's an evolution. Neji deluded himself into thinking everyone was beholden to the status they were born at. He was born a servant and so would lament that he was a servant even as he surpassed everyone around him. 
And he brushed off those weaker than him as simply being not destined to achieve anything until an orange loser with nothing but disadvantages who was only there because he refused to give up, uh, even with the cards stacked against him, who could only whip up the power to continue by not backing down in the face of a demon, beat him. I should have guessed you'd use that shadow clone jutsu. It's your specialty after all. I failed the graduation exam three times. Because there was this one jutsu that was always on the exam. Then it tripped me up every time. My clones were pathetic. So don't come whining to me with this destiny stuff. And stop trying to tell me you can't change what you are. You can do it too. Because after all, unlike me, you're not a failure. And so at the end of the series, Naruto needs to fight destiny again. Not just the destiny of being a monster everyone told him he had, not a destiny of being a failure Neji told him he had, but a destiny of failing in the same way the creators of Ninjutsu, the creators of his homeland, failed, surpassing them both in a way other than power. Elder Brother! Ashura! That's why the success of Naruto bringing Sasuke back is meant to mark the end of the reincarnation cycle. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and comment on your thoughts. And if you want to see more Naruto content, check out my channel and subscribe for more content. Thank you and good day.